<laughs> okay, hello everybody. Um, we're the computer science group for grade 11, and we've made like a couple of stuff throughout the year, and we'd like to show you. So first, we have this radar, it's an ultrasonic uh, sensor radar that basically uses radio waves to um, detect objects. So if I put my hand in front of this, you'll see that it's red to show that there's an object in front of it. Does anybody want to come and try? Okay, come here. You can use your hand or you can use an object, it doesn't matter, but put your hand in front. Yeah. And it detects your hand. That's what I'm Yeah. If you put a smaller object, it will indicate that it's a smaller object than Well, yes. Take the pen and try it. Well, yeah. What's you can show the distance as well. <laughs> It there doesn't. It is. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You just have to place it. Right. There you go. Yeah. Just get something more. Known. So, because it's ultrasonic waves and they get dispersed in every direction, you're gonna want to have something wider so that you can catch the, like the ultrasonic waves. So the closer it gets, you're gonna catch more. So and you can see, here. you can see over here, it yeah. also indicates the distance which the object is away. But if we move it further, because the ultrasonic waves travel everywhere, basically, it it's going to catch a very small glimpse of what the actual object is. And uh, yeah, that's it basically. And as you can see, it's connected to a little Severo motor, which uh, is basically just a motor, <coughs> but it's in a small size, and uh, it's uh, just rotating the actual sensor. So it can catch more of just the frame of what's going on here. Uh, and yeah, this is our first project and uh, we made it possible with uh, this little piece of equipment which uh, Mr. gave us. And the special thing about it is that uh, it's apart from <coughs> it just being a circuit and of course having its own uh, perks, um, the special thing about it is we have this little microcontroller which allows us to, uh, for example, write a code and then upload it to the actual circuit, if you know what <laughs> upload is. It's just like recording it on it. And then we can just take it anywhere, connect it to whatever electricity, and uh, it performs the task that... Uh, it's basically like a mini computer, which yeah. is a bit less powerful. Yeah. But it can do anything ranging from controlling these things to actually real-life uses such as traffic lights which we also built as a project and cool stuff like these projects that we did yeah so this is the first thing we made and now we're gonna move on to another sensor we have but this is a little more fun I will want someone okay. to come okay. here and uh, show us who wants okay. to okay. anyone wants to give a shot? Mike yeah. go Sure. Okay, just get, so your, get your hand. You're going to stand a little further. And you're going to get this and move it close and closer, to this, closer. but very slowly. And, and see what happens. How. And I want you to analyze what's going on and just tell me. Move it closer and closer. Just in this direction. Go down. I can't see nothing. Okay. We'll come and show you. Guys, you can one. get up one by one and test it out if you want to. So, uh, the oh. sensor also Wait, measures wait. the distance here. What do, you, what do you think is happening now? Yeah. Uh, just turn on. But why do they turn on? Just, uh, Could you guess? Uh, just a guess, it doesn't have to be right. Look. It's more close. Yes, exactly, more lights uh, to light up. up. So, I will, this works by, these, this produces radio waves which then reflect off of this and come back into it again. It calculates how fast do they reflect and therefore it calculates the distance. So, as you see when it's far, the radio waves take longer for it to come back to the sensor so only two lights light up. If it's closer, all the lights light up because the radio waves come back really quickly. <coughs> and if it's somewhere in the middle, it still lights up in the middle. Does anybody else want to come and see it? Or it's try. basically the same thing. It, it's, it works on the same pr principle as a... Principles, uh, parktronic in the cars. It there it just has another output which is sound, not only light, light. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I would like to talk about a little more about the design here. So if you could just come. Um, so 
Here we have a bunch of jumper cables connected to the pins of the actual Arduino circuit, uh, which are of course programmed to uh, give output to the breadboard, which is made so we don't have to solder. Uh, Mister has equipped us with this. Uh, soldering is uh, a practice that is required when you need to like actually connect the cables, which in here we don't have to do because we just stick them in. Um, and uh, here we have placed some uh, resistors so the actual LED lights don't fry which means that uh, the actual electricity if there were no resistors the LED lights would just not work they would just leak because be uh, yeah, the voltage too, would be too high the voltage would be too high and of course here we have uh, to the according pins of the actual sensor we have placed the jumper, jumper cables from the circuit and yeah, it's mostly about the code, but this is also pretty cool to see. And, yeah. okay. and now we'll move on to basically the coolest part, and the coolest project we've done. Unfortunately, no one hasn't brought it, which is stupid, but uh, we are going to show you what he made and what we worked on. We can show how it works. Yeah, so it basically lights up and so basically this works on the same principle as the traffic light. Imagine these things as the traffic as your basic traffic light you see on the road. These things light up and this thing blinks. This is done also by using an Arduino, which obviously powers the lights, makes them blink, programs them, such as I can make these cool effects. The lights can these two lights can also blink and the red light can always stay on. Which is the, our one of our coolest projects, although it's quite simple. Yeah, and um, but also something really impressive about the helmet is that 8th grade helped us create the model, which yep. Mr. then 3D printed, and it's pretty cool that we have the opportunity to use that. And now I want to show you a prototype of something really quick. So, guys, you can move forward. This is part of medical robotics technology implementation. So, yeah. Um, here this is a little prototype, but we're gonna have another 3D printed part. So you can see here we have a uh, hand with four fingers, and throughout the joints we have placed ropes. And if you see these little things, which you can like use if you want, these are called several motors. And these are smaller than the bigger one I showed you earlier. But what are they supposed to do is, we're gonna connect them to these ropes right here, and then when we connect it to the circuit and power it with the uh, appropriate code, of course, you know, it's going to pull each finger. So, for example, let's take the pinky, and it's going to pull the pinky like this, and we're going to use it with this little device that uh, allows us to go wireless, basically, and we can measure the exact amount uh, that each finger moves. But we will show uh, you this a little... Uh, in some future, I guess, because we, we're not done now. And this is also a prototype. We have a huge hand that Mr. has 3D printed. All the joints are moving, everything yep. is the wrist, it's crazy. So yeah. You said you were programming on Python a little bit? Not Python, uh, JavaScript. JavaScript, alright. So basically okay. you should recognize this. Okay, so it's just a language that the computer understands. In this case, uh, this is just Arduino adapted version of code. Um, and first off, you can just see we have assigned uh, some numbers, no, some pins to the circuit and the breadboard. Um, then <coughs> we have introduced a distance for the sensor. So the distance is measured by how long the radio waves take to come back to the thing once they're sent out. Yeah, then we've selected where we... Does anybody know what an input and output is? Yeah, yeah, well, will anybody raise their hand and tell us? Alex. Come on. You have to raise your hand. You, you, you know Python? No, I don't know anything. You don't have to know Python, you just have to know what basic coding is. <laughs> Not basic coding, just any. Yeah. Input, okay. input, is, input and output is basically this. Imagine I punch him, no, he punches no. me back. That's input uh, and output. Okay. I'll give Incoming that outcoming event. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, here we have a sign. Uh, well, on the actual circuit, right here, where we have connected the cables, so we can understand what we're doing. On the actual board, there, uh, John 
numbers and letters that allow us to basically track what we are writing inside of the code. And then, so we can actually give purpose to the circuit and then the breadboard. Um, afterwards, we have assigned voltage and the delay for which uh, the yeah, sensor right. will work and the lights. Then we have the duration. Uh, and yeah, it just goes on. Guys, is one second a long time? Yes. For a computer. For a computer. Yeah, or for a person. For a person, it's short for a computer. It's really long because the computer usually measures in milliseconds. For a computer, one second, as we understand that humanity is considered one millisecond, one thousand part of a second. Because it measures its actions to the speed of electricity or the speed of light. Here's my Okay, uh, and here, lastly, I just want to show how uh, each LED light from which we showed you here. Uh, it has assigned a distance, so we uh, it actually like lights up when the, an object uh, moves closer to it. So um, Okay, sorry, I don't know what he's saying. Um, um, so here we can see the first one is no, this is the last one. The last one turns on at 14 centimeters. This one um, turns on. It measures delay. It also measures delay. Yeah. Uh, this one lights up at 21 centimeters, this one uh, lights up at 28, and yeah. This is how when you walk down a corridor in a school, for example, lights turn up one after another, not the whole corridor lights up immediately.